Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got some new brakes and rotors I'm installing on my Acura TSX. It's overdue for some, so they've been wrapped for a couple months already and just been super busy working. Haven't had time. So, so rotors and pads. See, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the old ones, but they're they're really wrapped and stuff and they started vibrating on me the backs are fine but might as well do all four and those discs and brake pads I ordered from ECCPP Auto Parts so I ordered them off eBay so so hopefully they're good. Never tried them before, so but can't go wrong for I think it was like 140, 150 bucks. So so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get them installed real quick. I'll show you guys how to take off the brake pads. Cause I believe everybody knows how to take off a tire. So. I'll just show you how to take off the brake pads and the caliper and the rotor. And yes, I know I need a new front bumper, but I can't find one nowhere. Broke it on the last snowstorm. And as you guys know, safety first. Always use your Jacksons. Alright guys, the first thing we gotta put uh, take off is those two 14 millimeters and that's gonna loosen your your brake pads. Alright guys, so as you can see this one's spinning so just grab it with something. See? So once you have those bolts off, just go ahead and pull this back. Can get somewhere there, back here. And see now you can just pull up your brake pad. See they were they were pretty low either way. Now we're gonna take this off. See there's two. I think there's seventeen. off and now what you gotta do is take those two and this those two are just two Phillips screws As you saw that, it was pretty stuck on there, so we'll just smack it until it comes off. Look at how bad that was. And to put it back on, same process. 
And the new rotors, they're marked as right. See? So, pretty easy to know where to go. And when you put them on, make sure they... This holes. This holes align to the Phillips screws you took off. Then just go ahead and throw your new brake pad out. Okay guys, so now we gotta push in the piston. Let me grab something real quick. Yeah, I got this cheap brake tool from Harbor Freight, so. If not, you could use a C-clamp or something. See, once you have that, all the piston all the way in, you could go ahead and take this little tool off. And you could go ahead and Put it back on the car. And put back your two fourteen millimeters. Alright guys, so this side is done. Throw your wheel back on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so and one I'll show you guys one from the back too so you guys can see. Alright guys, so now we're gonna do the back ones. And the back ones I believe the yeah 12 millimeters to remove the caliper. Don't forget to have your emergency brake off. And then to remove this support right here, I believe it's a 14. Yep, 14. Thank you. 
And it's two screws in each, two for the caliper and two for the bracket. Then once you got those off, go ahead and remove your Phillips screws. All right, guys, just got done installing all four brakes. Alright guys, so that's going to be all for today. Hope you guys have a good one and see you guys next time.